Hi, I'm Asia Carapena, and I am a ride mechanical engineer at Walt Disney Imagineering. My job is to start from design all the way to delivery to get a ride system up and running. My first project with Walt Disney Imagineering was actually in Cars Land at Disney's California Adventure, and that was the Luigi's Rollicking Roadsters. And I did a lot of work with making a vehicle that could be accessible for our guests with disabilities, and that was incredibly rewarding. It opened me up to this whole new world of accessibility and things that I hadn't had to deal with before. Walt Disney Imagineering is absolutely at the forefront of ride technology in, in this industry. We have to innovate every day here. We're constantly creating things. And I think one of the things that I love about my job here is when we, we hear the word creative or innovate, a lot of times we might think of our more like artistic fields, but engineers here are constantly designing. I mean, we are designers, and so we're also the creative, innovative people as well. Recently, I've had the immense pleasure and honor to work on the Star Wars Galaxy Edge project from Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. There's this real-time responsiveness that the ride system had to be able to do in order to allow guests to really pilot the Millennium Falcon. And that didn't exist when we first concepted the ride. That was technology that we had to create. I know it's challenged me in ways that I never thought possible. The way that we tell stories here, we have to put so much input into getting it just right. And I mean, I'm telling you, the, the level of detail that we go into to make sure that everything is exactly as we think it should be, it's, it's kind of mind boggling. What I work on brings joy to people and you get to actually see that. I don't know of another another industry or another place where you get that kind of like yeah like pat on the back of, of that's what I do. My name is Charlie Watanabe and I am senior story editor. We are storytellers actually. Every uh, shop, restaurant, attraction, what have you, you know, parks has a story. I am writing stories for Duffy and Friends. When I write stories for Duffy, I want to make sure that story or the message is appreciated by little kids as well as their parents or even their grandparents. Uh, Imagineering is full of amazing people. They all bring in different talent and in different abilities and, and I think if you're a good collaborator, you'll be able to obviously, you know, offer the best um, part of you, but also get the best part of other people. It's really rewarding that we were able to come up with this character with stories, which means that your ideas actually come to life. I can actually come up with stories or new characters and to convey the idea that it's great to love and great to be loved and I call it my profession. That's just one of the most amazing things one can have in one's life. My name's Leslie and I am an R&D Imagineer Manager inside of Research and Development at WDI. What I do is work to bring to life new experiences that we can put in front of our guests for parks and resorts. Inside our Research and Development group, what that means is that we either think of technologies that exist and figure out how we can apply them to the parks and resort product to bring new experiences to life, or we dream up new experiences that don't even exist yet and develop the technology that we need to build them. I think part of why I like working at Imagineering is that I've flown through a bunch of different projects and every single one of them has been different and great in their own ways. Part of why I like coming to work um, is that you kind of never know what's happening next. You never know what new projects are on the horizon, but they've all managed to be great. In research and development, we're always trying to bring new experiences to life for our guests. And for us, those innovations can happen in lots of different ways, but two ways to describe it are, sometimes we see a new technology that exists and we say, hey, how can I take that and apply it to parks and resorts so that we can bring something new to life? And then on the other side, sometimes we have an idea for an experience and the technology doesn't even exist to make that happen. So we have to figure out how to build that. So we invent new technologies, we put things together that aren't meant to be together, but once they are, they do something really kind of magical and amazing. So those are two kind of ways that we innovate here and get new things done. To be an Imagineer, building things is key and that can be in any sort of format. So mechanical engineers that build physical things or that simulate the world around them, or it's to sketching an environment or an experience, storyboarding. It's about that desire and drive to 
make the thing, to make the experience so that you can really show and inspire and explain to people what you want to build and how you want to build it. Super critical skills to, to being successful here and something that we look for in everyone we hire. My name is Kevin Boutet and I am a facility designer. So my first experience with Walt Disney Imagineering was through the Disney Imaginations competition. And that entire experience was amazing and I learned so much, it was like living a childhood dream. Through that process, I got an internship where I had the opportunity to work as an architecture intern, developing a lot of concepts within our Florida and Disneyland parks, including Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I had the chance to work on all our rock work, which is basically the mountains that you see on Batu. Every day I'm learning something entirely new that I never thought I would learn in the company. Everything from projection to robotics. Because of that, you're always getting inspired by other people about how to solve problems, um, how to dream bigger. In my day-to-day -day role, um, I take on a lot of activities that deal with the design of our environmental spaces, which include things like designing facades, which are the outside of the buildings. So it's the things that make, uh, make it look like it's from a fantasy or from the future. We're constantly dealing with new, uh, new themes, new stories, uh, things that we never imagined we thought we would work on. And we dive deep into those stories and hopefully try to figure out the best way to tell those stories with the world. And ultimately, at the end of the day, it's, it's about creating happiness. But, you know, through that, I think we also inspire a lot of people to chase their dreams, to uh, imagine the impossible, to uh, do something they've never done before. And I think that, to me, is the most rewarding part of the job.